Yo, 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 what's good, our squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. So I know I made a video like this in the past where I made a comparison between GOAT and Stock X, but this one's a little different just because it's been a while. I think it's been like over a year since I made that video. It's been in my old house when I had like an old setup too, so that's like a while ago. But now I want to talk about something different. I want to talk about which one is better at this point because it's been quite a while now and they've both done some changes to their app. So I want to talk about that in particular. So first things first, if you guys don't know where they are, they're both apps. Oh, hell no. So you don't do that shit. Yeah. You, you play? I knew you were. Alright, so my roommate just tried pranking me mid video. He tried connecting to my Bluetooth and then like playing some moaning sounds, but he ain't gonna get me. This man's never gonna prank me. So I'm gonna let you guys know that right now. I'm never gonna get pranked in this house. Never. Anyways, going back to what I said, they're both consignment apps basically where you can just sell your shoes through them and they take a commission out of that. Goat takes like 9.5 and then like an extra $5. And Stock X takes 9% and they also take 3%. I don't know if it's a total of 12% or they take 9% first and then they take the 3%. I'm not exactly too sure. And Stock X charge shipping to the seller while Goat charges shipping to the buyer. So in preference of that, like I would choose Goat because it's cheaper. You're only getting like 9.5% taken away and then another $5, which is usually around 10%. And then you have Stock X, which is charging you way more because they're charging you shipping. But right now, to the holidays, I don't think they're charging shipping. So if you want to go ahead and sell to them, go ahead and do that right now because it's like the best time. However, the main topic I want to talk about is which one's better at this point because like I said, they both are the same except one has more than the other. Go is better in the fact that they interact more with their customers. They have more deals. They have more fun things going on with them. Like they have the Black Friday sale. I don't know if you guys know, but they just have like a whole Black Friday thing where you, they give you like some reward points and then you can use those points to put them into shoes and like it's basically like a raffle tickets that you can put into a bunch of other shoes and if you win, you can get them for retail and they also had some where you can get Go credit, which is like 10,000. They had like 1,500. They had a bunch of different things you could put your raffle tickets in for. And I think that's pretty cool. And I know throughout the year, they do a lot of other promotions. Sometimes they do free shipping. Sometimes they do... <coughs> Sometimes they do free shipping, sometimes they do like promotions like getting shoes for retail. They just do a lot of promotions. And Stock X had to compete with this at one point, so they started doing promotions and starting selling shoes such as Yeezys for a dollar and other shoes for retail, which is a good competition. Where Stock X beat Go is that you can now sell watches, handbags, and streetwear and shoes through Stock X. Because if you send it to them, they will authenticate it. And once it's authenticated, they send it over to the buyer. Which Go does not do this. They are strictly selling shoes still. They're still only consigning shoes. Stock X consigns all the other things I just said. This is definitely where stock X beats go supreme is really big right now it's at its prime like a lot of people are buying it a lot of people are selling it they're reselling it like crazy i mean it's always been resold but right now everybody's getting in on it just like when sneakers started it was kind of slow but now that everybody's in on it literally the sneaker market is flooded like the sneaker reselling market is flooded so if you didn't start back then it's gonna be really hard to start now as far as reselling goes it's actually easier to get supreme than it is to get sneakers because there's so many releases in one day usually thursdays last week it was friday because of black friday but usually on thursdays there's so many drops that it's possible to at least get one like i was able to get this fire hoodie for retail and my my size which would never happen before i was never able to get anything in my size and i'm finally learning how to get supreme and i will probably make a video on that eventually and i just got lucky i got it for retail it's like 168 dollars back at reselling for like 260 and i'm not gonna sell it because i really like this hoodie and i'm going to new york so i'm gonna need that for one of my sneaker con because i'm pretty sure it's gonna be cold in there even though there's gonna be so many people in there oh by the way i didn't mention it but i am gonna be a hundred percent going to sneaker con new york on december 16th and 17th if you guys are gonna be there leave a comment down below i want to know who's gonna go i want to know who out of my viewers are gonna be there so please leave a comment down below let me know if you're gonna go so moving on to watches obviously watches is like a lot more expensive so not many people buy them like if you look at their sales on stock x they are really low but they do have some sales but the good thing about this is that stock x can authenticate watches they are really expensive so if somebody can authenticate it for you if you're getting them second hand then that's really good because you're not going to get scammed you feel me and as far as handbags go this is a lot more easier to legit check because if you know your designer brands then you know how to legit check them and also like i said these handbags are expensive as well and nobody wants to get scammed for that amount of money some of them are pre-owned but some of them are brand new and even like when it's second hand when you sell these designer brands secondhand, their value goes down a little bit. Why? I guess because some obviously when they're used, they're gonna go down. But when they're new, it's just like anybody can just go ahead and literally get it brand new for retail at the store. So people have to sell it secondhand at a lower price to actually be able to sell it, or else it won't sell or just sit. So to come to a conclusion, if I had to say which one is better between Stock X and GOAT, I am gonna have to give the winning hand to Stock X because they are killing it. Once I saw that they're selling the streetwear more than anything, like obviously the shoes is there too, but I usually buy shoes off GOAT if anything. But once I saw that they're selling the streetwear, like supreme and kith and all these other hype brands i freaked out because that means i can finally buy i don't mind paying resale for supreme because it's not that high it's not like seniors where they go up hundreds of dollars supreme's resale gets high but it's not that high of a price you guys know what i'm saying and before you can go on grail and buy it, you can go on ebay but you got to be careful and you don't really know what to look for and it's easier just to have somebody do it for you so that's why it's better just to buy off of stock x so like i said stock x wins on this one before i would say goat because it was just on sneakers but now that we're talking a wider range of products i do have to give the winning edge to stock x anyways that's pretty much it for today the fan of the day for today is 
is Shay Ibrahim. So big shout out to you. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your last name. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We weren't able to hit 20,000 subscribers by yesterday, but we are pretty close. We're like 100, less than 150 away. So that's good enough for me. But now the main goal, since I'm going to be uploading every single day, which I know this is possible, is to get 25,000 by the end of this year. I'm pretty sure it could happen. It's only 5,000 subscribers. I was able to get that in like five days before. I'm pretty sure I can get it in a whole month now, especially if I'm uploading consistently. Please be subscribing. Please share the videos. And also, please keep interacting with these videos. It helps me out a lot. And then the more I grow, the more I'll be able to give back to you guys. So I hope you guys do help me out a lot on that. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for today. Make sure you stay woke. It's your boy, Sneaky Sign out.